This weekend, we're making the ultimate beach party. I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Bro Jacks. So yeah, we're building the, the tiki bar here. I've just uh, assembled some materials, uh, scavenged from around the property. <laughs> so this is an old uh, futon frame that we found roadside on a garbage day. Uh, we used the legs of it for a maple syrup evaporator that we made last year. And this was the frame. So this is the last of it. And it's always kind of fun to take something that's uh, destined for the garbage and repurpose it into a couple cool projects. So this is a roof frame. We'd build the bar top to fit this. You think that's small? Well, you just want a countertop, right? Yeah. And it's for like passing drinks and food and stuff like that. For our beach party, we're going to start by clearing the area to make room for a truckload of crusher dust that will help flatten the land. With the sand in place, we'll add a tiki bar that will be the centerpiece of our beach. The tiki bar will be a simple table covered by a thatched roof. It will also house a cooler so we can serve cold drinks at our Hawaiian themed party. Yes, yeah, so once we had all our materials, we got our workshop set up. Walker showed us a picture of uh, a tiki bar he was at in Florida. So we're emulating that design. We're doing a little mock-up here. It kind of looks small now, doesn't it? Well, that's what we're doing, building, building small. We're trying to keep this build as small as possible. We're down here, it's a summer day. We don't really want to slog through hours and hours of cutting and building. Uh, we're both excited about this one. It's going to be something to do at night down here. It gets dark and you're kind of limited in what you can do, but having another little toy for nighttime will be fun. This is connecting the tiki bar posts at the base. Um, it also is a handy little footrest for if you're sitting on stools, you can put your feet there. So is that 70 more or less? Look at you. Head on. <laughs> Next is the letter B. <laughs> and we still haven't figured out a few things. Right now, we're just trying to get the roof height. Please do not drop that on my head. It's a mile too high. Head height is there. And then let's give the grass six inches overhang. Go up to right about there. That's going to be plenty high, man. OK, want to get cutting? Yep. Remember these things? <laughs> Couldn't find anywhere to plug it in, but. Yeah, I think this uh, old futon's gonna work for the roof. We're gonna spread it out a little bit to try to maximize how much roof we have overhanging the bar. So I'm just working on the trough table, trying to figure out how I'm gonna build this thing. Uh, I'm not really sure what Junior's up to, but uh, hopefully he's working on some kind of little decoration for this or something. I'm gonna try and weave a little section of roof here and see how it goes and uh, make ourselves a little tiki roof. So I've been over working on the tiki bar, came over to discover that Junior is trying to weave eight foot sections of this stuff. I don't think there's any possible way he could weave this in a month of Sundays. Where'd you get that? Wool this while I was driving. Was it corn? Junior's over there trying to weave this thing. That wouldn't take very long, would it? What do you got going on here? So the trough is gonna be in the middle here, obviously. Make a little box, put it under here. And fill uh, it with ice? Fill it with ice. Yep. Look at you, thinking about the details. I like this little bar. Uh, next step, we're gonna put this thatch roof on and move the whole bar into place. I really like the look of this thing before we put the uh, thatch on it, and now it looks super cool. It looks great, I think. Let this two-man party begin. These little projects are kind of fun. It's really hot today, finally. I wouldn't mind hitting the lake. Now that the beach is done, this place looks amazing. This is gonna be party central. This is the perfect kind of build. Now we have everything for a luau. We've got a beach bonfire, tiki torches for lighting the bar, and a bar with a cooler built in so we can serve cold drinks at our tiki parties. 